guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another polished collection video for you. I have my Native War Paints. Um, Native War Paints is an indie brand that I haven't bought from in several years, um, a few years, but I used to buy from them all the time. I really enjoyed them. Um, this was a few years ago when um, Just Face 90 like heavily promoted them, I guess you would say. Um, you know, she was always receiving their PR and always swatching and always doing, you know, their collection videos. So that's how I kind of started getting into Native War Paints. And then for whatever reason, I just kind of outgrew them and started getting into like, you know, other um, indie brands. But I have, I think 17, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one I have is I'm turning 29, dot, 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 again. This is a really nice um, white crelly base with really pretty um, pink, different pink glitters. And then there's some silver glitters in there. This one is really nice. This one was, they used to do this thing where um, they would pick a random person. I don't, they had a YouTube channel and they would, I don't know if they would pick the person out of the YouTube comments. I don't remember exactly how it was, but then that person would get to tell them what kind of polish they wanted them to make and then they would come on camera and then they would show the polish that that person picked. So this was one of them. Um, this person picked I'm Turning 29 again. So this one is really nice. It's got a nice formula, it's a nice polish. This one is RBF. This is a glitter topper. This one was made in collaboration with Just Face 90. This was right before she launched her own personal brand, 90. So I think what happened is they were basically showing her the ropes on how to like make polishes. She came out with the whole collection and then, like I said, shortly after that, she came out with her own brand. This one is RBF, so this one is a glitter topper. And this is one of my favorite pink glitters. I don't have a lot of pink glitters. Um, you know, I've gotten rid of a lot of them over the years. Um, but this one is one of my favorites. I really like this one. In my swatches, I showed it sheer over just my plain nails. And then on this nail, I showed it with two coats. Because when I wear this, I like to wear it as an accent nail. Um, more opaque so I did two coats on, on this nail um, really nice one of my favorite pink glitters and this one this is one of my favorite from Native War Paints I love this one this one is called Apple Picking this one is a beautiful beautiful dark pink base and it has a bunch of fine gold shimmer this one came in a box they used I don't know if they still do but they used to do these monthly subscription boxes um, it was like I think $15 something like that and you would typically get two full-size polishes and then a mini polish and then something random like um, a nail decal or something like that or like a top coat something like that um, so this one came in like a fall box i'm pretty sure it was probably like a november box so so beautiful you guys i love this one it's just the color the formula it's just so pretty i really love this one and this one this one is whipped cream and pumpkin pie. So this is a white curly base and then it has a bunch of like orange and gold glitters. Um, it's got big ones that kind of look like pumpkins and then it's got like medium ones and then it has little teeny tiny glitters. This posh is such a letdown you guys. It's so pretty and interesting in the bottle but first of all these big glitters you never get on your nail. Never. All the times I've worn this I've never once gotten these big ones. And then even the medium sized ones, those ones you barely get on your nails either. So you end up with just a white curly with these little teeny tiny glitters and then maybe one or two random medium ones. Um, even when you hold it upside down, the glitters don't really, I don't know, really cool polish. Like the concept is really pretty, I like it. Um, but at some point I'll probably get rid of that one because it's just, you know, doesn't perform the way it's supposed to. And this one, this one is Split P. This is one of the ones that Just Face um, 90 did. This one is, uh, it says holographic. And you guys, look at this color. It's one of those colors that's so ugly that it's interesting. So it's like a Split P chartreuse green. And then it has a bunch of fine, um, like chartreuse green holographic glitters. This one is so interesting, you guys. I mean, it's like, you know, it's puke green. It's it's so ugly but it's so interesting <laughs> I love this one it's funny this one another one by just face this is one of my favorites um, one of my favorite green glitters all, of all time this is lily bug and this is a glitter jelly this is a dark like a 
not quite forest green, but just a, a deep green, like bright green, then it has all that green, like all that um, goldy green glitter in there. This one is so pretty, you guys. I love wearing this one. Um, it's really nice as an accent nail, as a full manicure. It's just really, really beautiful. Um, a little bit gritty, you know, it is a glitter, but it's just, it's so beautiful, you guys. I don't know, let me show you the, you can see um, all that glitter in there. So, so pretty, I love this one. Okay, the next one, this one is really interesting. This one is Rotten Zombie Flesh. And this one is like a, um, like an olive green with a bunch of goldish shimmer. Um, it's not, from what I understand, it's not anything like um, zo zombie, what's that one by, um, oh, what is that? China Glaze, zombie, some, zombie something or another. Um, it's not like that one because that one's like a glass fleck, but it is kind of that similar um, veining where it's got the like olive green and then the gold shimmer. Really, really nice, has a good formula. This one's really pretty, I like this one. And this one, this is one of the few browns that I own that I actually really enjoy. This one is Lurkers, and this one is, sorry, the sun like keeps going in and out, you guys, so it keeps getting bright and then lighter, sorry. Um, this is a really nice brown base, and then it has a bunch of like um, turquoise, turquoise green glitters in there so so interesting you guys it's so pretty it looks really nice on the nails can't remember if this was a two or three coater I think it might have been a three coater but it's really interesting it's really pretty I really like this one this one this one is another brown this one is extra crispy rotten walker flesh so all three of these I'm pretty sure were in some kind of like walking dead collection or multiple collections I think she's had a couple over the years this one um, looks really interesting in the bottle. It's got like a um, like a greenish olive base, and then it has all those really interesting metallic glitters in there. And then it's got some like uh, little shards in there, like flaky shards. But it just doesn't translate as nicely on the nails. I mean, you still get all those glitters; they come out. It just it doesn't look as cool on the nails as it does in the bottle. But you know, it is really pretty to look at. Like, look at that. See all those like pretty rainbow metallic glitters, really nice. Just, I wish it was a little nicer on the nails. And this one, this one is Black Tie. This was another one that came in one of her um, monthly boxes. This was like during the Oscar, Oscar season one year. Um, this is a really pretty blackened olive green base. And then it's got all that beautiful gold shimmer. Um, it translates pretty well on the nails, that shimmer. In my swatch pictures, I think it looks more black, um, but in person, like I had a hard time capturing it properly, but in person it is, you do see that um, gold shimmer, just not quite as nicely as in the bottle. You do see it, just not as nice as in the bottle. This one, this is one of my favorite polishes. This one is The Man of My Dreams, and this one came in one of her subscription boxes. This one I'm pretty sure was like a um, October Halloween box. Um, see, it's got like the little knife on it. See, all the um, subscription ones, they have like the theme. So this one was like a, based off of horror movies. This one was based off of the Oscars. And then this one was based off of fall. It's got all the pretty um, fall leaves. So this one, The Man of My Dreams, is um, like a blackened, blackened base. And then it has a bunch of red and green glitters. And then it has like some silver... Um, what are those called? Uh, bar glitters. Um, this one I believe is based off of Freddy Krueger. Is he the one that wears like the red and green striped sweater and he haunts you in your dreams? That's Freddy Krueger, right? Yeah, so this is supposed to be based off of him. So this is supposed to be like a Halloween type polish, I guess. But I love this one for Christmas, you guys. That blackened base and then with the red and green glitters just makes it so interesting. Like it's not your typical just, you know, red and green polish because that blackened base just makes it really interesting and this polish is I love it it's so beautiful it is a jelly it's like jelly base so it does take three coats but it's so pretty you guys it's so interesting I really like this as something different for Christmas this one this one is rainbow bright and this is a bright blue she did a collection where it was um, like neons that were meant to water marble 
so they were all like really good at water marbling and then they all had like a really nice contrasting shimmer this one has like a purple shimmer that goes through it but that shimmer first of all is almost non-existent in the bottle and then on the nails completely non-existent you don't see that shimmer at all this one has kind of like a jelly base so after two coats you can still kind of see nail line um you guys i've tried to declutter this one so many times because it's just your basic neon blue but it's a pretty blue so i've held on to it every time i've decluttered it i've like pulled it back out i'm like you know it still has a nice formula even though it doesn't do what it's supposed to it doesn't have that shimmer it's still a nice color it's a nice formula so i've kept this one this one this one is another one that came in the um november subscription box this one is very cobbler so it's like the same idea as this one where it's got the beautiful base this is a dark blue base and then it has that beautiful gold shimmer really really nice um, it's got the same quality formula as this one but i like this one a little bit more um, but it's still really nice it's got a nice formula really pretty those you really see those gold glitters really really nice and this one is all i need is a little of your time this is like a beigey tan crelly base and then it has a bunch of fine um fine like tiny flakes and then it has a bunch of like gold glittery shimmer in there this one's really nice um this one came out several years ago it was like one of the first ones that i'd seen of this type where it was like the tan off whitish base and then shortly after this one came out there was like several other brands that had this same like type of polish where it was this color base with all the flakes and the shimmer and then but no one ever really mentioned this one i was like well they kind of did it first um and it is really nice it's a pretty polish this one this one came in one of their monthly subscriptions this one was like a coffee themed this one is coffee with lots of cream and sugar so it came with this one and then it had like a mini like dark brown it was like a cup of i think it was called cup of joe or something like that and then it had like a scented top coat so it smelled like coffee now this one is exactly how i would drink my coffee lots of cream and lots of sugar um i rarely drink coffee because by the time i put so much milk and sugar in it it's basically just drinking um you know sugar milk so <laughs> really really nice i really love this um color it's a really beautiful um like neutral polish but because it has that pretty gold shimmer in there it just takes it to the next level really nice um great formula i really like this one okay and this one is called homicidal unicorn maniacs this one's really funny it's got like a um i don't know if you can see this one it's got a crazy um <laughs> a crazy angry zombie unicorn on the front it's really funny so this one is like a um kind of the same almost the same type of color well no they're nowhere near the same but like a tannish like a neutral um, tannish base and then it has a bunch of green I mean bunch of gold glitter in there and then I think it's got little teeny tiny I think it might have, have teeny teeny tiny um, flaky particles so tiny that it almost just looks like it's just glitter really nice um, great formula I really like this one it's really pretty again it's like a, um, a neutral office type polish but with a little something different I actually had the green version of this, um, but I got rid of the green one because I didn't like it as much as I like this one. Okay, and the last polish, this is one of my favorites. I really love this one. This one is called Fool's Gold, and it was another one of those polish where um, a subscriber got to pick the polish that they wanted. So this one is a really nice cream colored base, and then it has just a ton of gold glitters. Um, big glitters, little glitters, like medium, big glitters, medium sized glitters. And then it's got the little teeny tiny um tiny glitters so pretty you guys this is one of my favorite crellies um not only by native war paints but just one of my favorite crellies it's so beautiful it looks really nice on the nails really really pretty and you actually get some of these um bigger glitters out really really nice okay guys so those are all my native war paints um let me know down below if you guys like native war paints i have noticed that they're on polished pickup so that's nice um so i guess this brand is still you know around and kicking so let me know down below what some of your favorite polishes are if you like native war paints. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.